What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master out here on this uh, end of the work week. It is Friday, January 7th, 2022, about 9.55 a.m. You can see on the globe there, uh, or at least on the seismograph in the Japan region, an earthquake coming in. Uh, this is actually coming from a uh, six-pointer in the China area, but that is the signature kicking up. Has not been picked up on the USGS globe yet. The latest one, a 5.0, uh, following that 6.1 down in the Nicaragua area. Uh, that 5.0 just occurring within the last hour. But there is definitely a bigger earthquake occurring over here in China. We'll go ahead and check that out on the latest map from the EMSC showing a 6.3 magnitude earthquake in the China region occurring just a few minutes ago. Uh, looks like this is the area on the map. 10 kilometer depth, or actually it looks like it just got downgraded to a 6.2. There's the epicenter there in the star indicating the uh, recent earthquake. And again, here on the USGS map, they have not listed it yet. They're a little bit slow but I'm sure they will get around to it. Let's go ahead and look at the movement overnight uh, until that earthquake comes onto the map here. So 5.0 uh, down there following that six pointer that we had um, yesterday, of course 6.1 within that same region. We have seen a couple aftershocks, uh, including that 5.0 kicking up there, a little bit deeper into the middle America trench, just off the coast here. And also a little bit of movement further up north uh, as well, 4.6. So a little bit of activity kicking up here in the Middle America Trench, an area to watch pretty closely uh, as we're seeing uh, some deeper movement in that region. Also seeing some activity kick up in the Peru area overnight with a 5.6. I believe this one originally came in somewhere around the 6-point magnitude range, uh, downgraded significantly to a 5.6, but pretty deep into the Peru-Chile Trench here, subduction zone. So a lot of subduction zone quakes up and down uh, this area, the Peru-Chile Trench, and into the Middle America Trench. Uh, nothing yet being reported by the USGS, but I'm sure they will get to it, no doubt. Uh, activity has remained relatively quiet here within this region uh, and over here to the west, but it looks like that's changing here now with that uh, earthquake coming in. Let's check out the west coast here real quick. A uh, little bit of activity kicking up, not as significant as last night and the day before. Although one thing I'm noticing here is a little swarm of movement around the Brawley seismic zone, which is this extensional fault system here from the San Andreas Fault uh, down to the Imperial Fault. Looks like just off there, right at the cracked area, well, the uh, bend area, if you will, the segment here where, where it kind of separates, seeing about 13 earthquakes of uh, microquake activity kicking up within this range at 2.7 the largest uh, in this little sequence of earthquakes, but the depths here are all over the place, uh, down to about one kilometer uh, and even further down to about 10 in some of these other microquakes. So a little bit of activity kicking up there. Uh, whenever we see swarms here on a mega, uh, major segment or just off the uh, seismic, off the uh, San Andreas fault system, still waiting for that caffeine to kick in. Um, something to be uh, on watch for. Uh, swarms tend to prelude possibly larger earthquakes. Let's see if it's on the map here yet on the China area. Nope. These guys are just kind of slow, but it is what it is. We'll wait for them to update that um, as we do the updates here. Uh, also, Utah looking at a little bit of significant swarming out there as well. We've been watching that region uh, over the past few weeks around the Cedar, Utah, and also Cedar City. Uh, seeing a swarm of movement down here. Uh, up here in the mountains, uh, just kind of roughly pretty shallow earthquake activity, two to three kilometers below the surface. Uh, so a little bit of movement going on there over the last week or so, including the last day. This here is the last seven days of all magnitude. You can see things really ramping up out here along the west coast uh, and into Nevada. And of course, up here in the northern California area, the southern end of the Cascadia, a lot more earthquake activity on this map than what is being shown. Uh, I know that for a fact because the seismograph's been watching them uh, almost nonstop for the past couple days, and there's no doubt earthquake activity occurring uh, not being reported. I may message a uh, geologist today, ask him about that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. The Big Island, southeast flank region, still pretty active. Also around the Kilauea volcano, the crater area, showing some significant uptick in movement right smack dab. 
around the crater area. Kind of want to see if I can get the uh, latest information on that uh, volcano from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Their webpage is a pretty valuable uh, resource when it comes to latest updates and whatnot. Still sits at uh, orange and watch. Looks like the latest update uh, was put out yesterday. Uh, still sits at the orange and watch level activity uh, at the volcano in the crater has continued over the past 24 hours. All recent lava activity has been confined to the crater itself and there are no indications of activity migrating elsewhere on the uh, on Kilauea. But uh, you never know. Earthquake activity and whatnot can uh, swap up that update really quickly and with the renewed earthquake movement there at uh, uh, these are some pretty deep. Check out the depths of these earthquakes down there below this area, about 11 kilometers. Uh, this ain't directly at the surface, so I think something is brewing down there a little bit on the larger size uh, when it comes to maybe stirring things up here at the Kilauea Volcano. Had to watch that pretty closely in the coming days, or maybe today. We'll see how that kind of kicks off. Uh, let's go back over here to California area. We are seeing some movement in the Los Angeles area, Covina, Ontario area. Seeing some scattered, well, microquakes throughout the land here, including some activity off the uh, Huntington Beach area, San Pedro Channel. Seeing some uh, shallow earthquake activity out here in the sea in the Pacific, San Pedro, California, 1.1 kilometers. Some really shallow earthquake activity off of these fault systems here. Um, so yeah, kind of watching this region as well. San Diego area, a little bit of movement off the coast here as well. 1.7 at 18.4 uh, kilometers. Pretty deep movement here into this region. Uh, what else we got? The East Coast region looking pretty, uh, pretty quiet for the most part. Nothing kicking up in the South Carolina region or the uh, Appalachian Mountains. Arkansas had, had uh, one little earthquake here, just shy of the New Madrid zone, 2.4. 4.8 kilometers there, Oklahoma and Kansas area kind of dying off, although some query blasts around the Durant area in Ardmore. Uh, a couple of small queries kicking off up there in the region of Oklahoma and a couple twos in this part of Texas. Uh, what else we got? Puerto Rico, pretty quiet, not a whole lot of movement kicking up there. And uh, of course, areas to the east here in the Atlantic, quiet for now. Uh, it's man, it's just taken USGS a long time to put out uh, to put out a notification on this earthquake. I want to go back here to the EMSC and see if these guys uh, have updated or downgraded or whatnot that China earthquake. 6.2 looks like it's holding steady at a 6.2, although down here 6.3. So we're gonna go with one of those here. Uh, while well, the USGS kind of figures out what they're doing. And uh, I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to write one of these guys, ask him about Northern California activity. I'll get back to you guys uh, on if I get a response or not. They may claim that it's not uh, earthquake activity kicking up. So let's go back over here to the seismographs. And I want to show you guys, of course, there's the sig signature of that earthquake. Actually, it looks a little bit larger than the 6.2. I'm not even joking. Uh, and these are the uh, kind of the uh, P&S waves kicking up from that distant earthquake there in China. This is a Japan station. So uh, I'm thinking this is a little bit larger than the 6.2. Uh, looking at the graphs there um, and also up here at the Solomon Islands picking up that signature as well. It's going to be this station. That's a pretty good size earthquake. Solomon Islands to China is a good distance. I'm guessing that's a little bit larger than the 6.2 um, for sure from some observations there. So uh, let's see what we got. Kind of looking at the Hawaii station. Let me show you guys what's going on here. A little bit of a strange movement. This is kind of similar to how the uh, BC station there in, in uh, Canada area was popping off a couple days ago. Just these odd little spikes. And I'm not for sure if that's interference or adjustments, but uh, been watching that region there for earthquake activity uh, overnight and this morning as well so yeah that's kind of kind of a little on the odd side there let's see see if the usgs is going to do anything about this update here we're just kind of slowly getting to it but uh 
let's see, 6.2. I'm thinking it's a little bit larger than that. 6.4, now they've upgraded it to 6.4 on the EMSC map. Uh, like I say, I wouldn't doubt if the USGS goes a little bit higher or equal to that 6.4, but the distance here from that 6.2, which is, uh, let's see exactly where they have it situated, uh, roughly over here. The distance from there to Japan and then down to Solomon Islands, picking it up pretty closely, uh, just tells me right there that it's definitely a much larger earthquake in that region. So we'll go from there. Um, oh, there we go. 6.6. .6. Man, there we go. A little bit larger for sure than the 6.2. 6, .2. 6 pointers, just I don't see that signature kicking up that far of a distance like it was. So we've got a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake in China at 8.6 kilometers below the, surface, below the surface. It has been reviewed, obviously, by a, uh, a gentleman or a lady there at the USGS with uh, knowledge of earthquake activity, right? I'm not really surprised it didn't get sent out on the preliminary data from the system. Sometimes earthquakes do, sometimes they don't. Uh, in this case, it took them a little while to get the update out, but they, they came out with a little bit more accurate reading uh, than the EMSC there. Looking at the historical data, definitely shows uh, some heightened earthquake activity over here in, in time, throughout time, I should say. Sixes to sevens, it looks like, in this area of China. So, all right, guys, we're going to jump off here. Uh, once again, 6.6 .6 in the China area, showing up pretty significantly on uh, quite a few seismograph stations there. So a little bit of ringing of the bell today to end the work week. Have a great day, folks. We will be back a little bit later on this evening unless something major happens. We'll chat you guys in. Peace out.